Focus is a crucial driver nowadays in Netherlands development cooperation. We nowadays concentrate in the Netherlands on only four, 15 partner countries. We had 40 and it's now only 15. 10 of them in Africa, two of them in the Arab world and three in Asia. And we aim for adding value only in four uh, spear hubs, we call it, or priority areas. And food and nutrition security is one of them. We think that joint action in all kinds of partnerships is crucial, whether it's what we talked about private-public, but also private-private and public-public, it's crucial for success. In that way, we really like to see the maximization of knowledge and also funds. The Amsterdam Initiative Against Malnutrition, you've seen here, is one of these examples, one of the more than so 70 PPPs we're involved in. And we want to foster return on investment because accountability is key not only to the Dutch public, the taxpayers, but also very much to the southern and northern partners. And it's truly, it go, it's all about real impact. And not just any impact, no, it should be concrete outputs of projects we are involved in, and which those projects should be in line with what are the, uh, the priorities of the countries. It's not islands of success, but it's seas of change. The impact is one thing, but it's also important, where do we want to uh, achieve and contribute to impact? And that's very much the local development in our partner countries. There we want to contribute to change which is structural, sustainable, equitable, and inclusive. And we think that the private sector is crucial in achieving this. And it's not only the international private sector, it's also very much the local private sector, both formal and informal. And, we, and it's not only individual corporations, it's also um, associations of employers, of employees, of uh, farmers, of consumers. And again, it's not only the private sector, it's also very many other uh, development partners. Think about the media, think about NGOs that function as service providers or as watchdogs, both in the north and in the south. As I said, food and nutrition security is one of those four priorities we have chosen. Next, the other three priorities are water, uh, stability and legal order, and sexual and reproductive rights and health. In the next slides, I want to give you a, a bit of a, a more insight into this food and nutrition security. What do we want to achieve? First of all, we think that productivity is crucial. We talked about it, the production of food. And remember, we have to produce more than 70% more of food in the next 30 years. Mm -hmm. eh? That means, for instance, more emphasis on research, on input supplies, on other positive incentives for raising the productivity. But it's not only about productivity as such, labor or water or, 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 or labor or, or land productivity, it's also in a world which is, is changing with a higher, uh, with, with a, a bigger scarcity of, of minerals, land and water, climate change, etc. So sustainability, as mentioned this morning, people profit planet. The second pillar is increasing the access to healthy food. We talked about it this morning. Because it's not only the quantity, but also the quality of food which matters. So combating malnutrition needs to be stepped up through fortification, nutrition literacy campaigns, sanitation, etc. But it's also not only the quality, it's also the affordability. We talked about it, the access. Eh? We need, therefore, to foster broad-based economic development and increased purchasing power of those ones who are, uh, are dependent on the markets. Uh, it underlines the importance of decent employment and also of social protection. Producers and consumers meet each other in markets, and those markets are not very, of, of very often not efficient. So we want to contribute that very much focusing on the local and regional markets uh, in, in, in the areas where our partner countries are, are situated. And improving the transparency of markets, the infrastructure, custom procedures, these kind of interventions we're going to step up. The fourth and last pillar is the enabling environment for doing business and making investments. We think that it's crucial to contribute to a better functioning financial sector, better land tenure rights, better effective uh, vocational training, uh, taxation procedures which are transparent. We all think they are important to achieve um, success in, 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 on food security and, and food and security. And we work with many other uh, partners, of course, 
the multilateral uh, organizations, bilateral donors, IFAD, World Food Programme, ILO, GAIN, CGAR, just mention them. And also our embassies are crucial in this. We have, out of these 15 partner countries with embassies, 14 of them have prioritized food and nutrition security as, as, as their main focus. And they are, have produced their multi-annual strategic plans will be, which will become public in, in the next uh, few weeks. Also at, at central level we have a, a range of programs where we uh, foster twinning of knowledge institutes, um, we foster joint ventures of businesses and also support NGOs. And we think that all these relations really should trigger change and should therefore be used to create innovative actions. We want to look for unusual suspects and giving them the space to experiment. Innovations that uh, create social capital, better technologies, but also mobilize funds. Also synergy is crucial. Cross-fertilization, for instance, what we do in our embassies and what we do at headquarters is crucial. One and one should be more than two. Eh? And that is only possible if we create win-win-win situations. And finally, we have to realize that development assistance is really fading out. Other fu funds and flows are more and more important. <coughs> so complementarity and coherence is very crucial. Eh? And that means that we have to, to, to foster uh, that complementarity in order to contribute to uh, poverty reduction, economic development and stability. And the orange mission of the Netherlands Development Cooperation Policy is therefore from aid to investments. Thank you very much.